video now. So I've been feeling a little overwhelmed recently. I'd say within the last week I've been really feeling it, but even before that I noticed myself not doing some of the things that I really wanted to do. And when I start to feel overwhelmed, usually it means that I just have so much I'm excited about. I have more energy coming into my life, into my body than I'm used to, which is all a good sign. And it also means that I would probably benefit from some more organization so that I feel like I can do all the things I want to do. And it's, you know, within my power, my control to do all of that. And sometimes it's buying a storage unit. Um, sometimes it's like updating a calendar so that I'm blocking things off. And because I've done both of those things in the last few months and that has helped, I really didn't know where to turn this time. I thought maybe it's like one of those written planners. And, I, you know, I was just talking about that with a friend and she has one that she likes. So I just browsed on Amazon, but I really couldn't find any that really met my needs. And I was interviewing someone earlier today who makes personal oracle decks and teaches people how to do it. She also teaches people how to make professional oracle decks too. But the personal ones were really interesting because she made them for the same reason I was just talking about things she wanted to do but couldn't really find herself doing. So for her, one was exercise. So she made uh, just an oracle deck with index cards. She would draw on different kinds of movement and she drew like a picture with each one and she would take a card when she felt like she wanted movement in her day but she didn't know what to do. And so like some of them were yoga, walk her dog, I'll link the video I did with her here so that you can see it. Um, but that really inspired me to write down all of the projects that I have going on so that I can pick a card when I have time in my day, like right now, and ask myself, what is the most beneficial thing I can do right now? And so I first wrote down I don't know, 10 things that I could think of, my projects. And then I thought, ooh, there's really more. So I kept going and going. And then I also wrote down visioning, meditating, and just some other things that I find it beneficial to do during the day. And then I wrote down some regular things that I do, like make a video for this channel, make a video for my intuitive art channel. And I, I rounded it out so I have 24 index cards. And they're all things that I want to do. None of it is a punishment or a have to. They're all things I actively think about wanting to do and sometimes just don't find myself doing it. So what I did just before this is I shuffled it. I asked myself that question. What is the most beneficial thing I can do right now? And I got this. So that's why I'm talking to you right now. So <laughs> I love it. You know, I, I didn't decorate these yet. Um, I probably won't, to be honest. I like how clean this is right now. You know, if I get inspired to, then I will. But as, as it stands right now, I really like it and I need to let my cat out. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use these for the rest of the week and I'm going to let you know how it went. So if you are wanting to do something like this, if you're out of organization ideas, and if you like to live intuitively, I'm gonna let you know how this went and then you can make up your mind if you wanna do it yourself. Luckily, it is very cheap. It is less money than a planner. It is less money than a storage unit and it's kind of fun. So I'll keep going and check in and, and I'll see you soon. I just looked at the clock and I thought, oh, it's four o'clock, should I take a walk? So I'm gonna pull another card and we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna shuffle them. They're pointing toward you, so I can't see what it says. So I'm gonna ask myself, what is the most beneficial thing I could do right now? And that feels good. It feels like it's helping me even like stay in alignment because I'm, checking in, I'm doing what feels good, and let's see what this card is. 
Was it? Oh, moment. I was right. So I guess in this case, I could take a walk or I could do um, the workout I started a couple of days ago, which is more like weights and stretching and stuff. So hmm. I feel like I want to take a walk though. So I'm going to take a walk. I'm on my walk and I went to the coffee shop. I got some iced tea and now my mouth is really cold so I'm talking really funny but <laughs> I wanted to share that I ran into a new friend there and he started telling me that he's kind of in a position where he has to start working again like offering his uh, spiritual stuff again because he took a couple years off and needs to pick it up again but he doesn't really know where to start and um, just wants some help with everything and I thought wow you know this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately like my students starting their businesses and the troubles like some of them have been having and how I could help and I thought wow maybe he offered to pay me, but I thought it would be so fun to just do it at the coffee shop. And now I'm thinking, what if I filmed it? Uh, with his permission, of course. But it would be such a good series of, like, helping someone who's super talented, uh, you know, start making money with their skills. And he's just such a super example of all the people I work with like clear talented so much heart and love and just wanting to be a gift to the world so that sounds really fun and I'm super glad I took a walk so I'll keep pulling these cards and seeing what happens I have a couple hours to myself this evening and I know what I would like to accomplish for my class that I'm teaching tomorrow um, but I also have this quilt that I'm making and it would be a really good opportunity to work on that and of course I could do both but I'm I'm really interested to see what the cards have to say because I think some people are afraid of living intuitively because they feel like what really needs to get done isn't going to get done and so it'd be interesting to see, I don't believe that, everything, everything I have to do gets done um, in the perfect timing. But this is just like taking all the guesswork out of what to do at the time. I'm like totally giving it to my higher self. So I'm interested to see what my next um, focus will be. So let's see. What is the most beneficial thing for me to do? now. Wait, this one kind of like, ooh, oh, there's two. Visioning and oh, coaching program marketing. Ooh, interesting. That's not what I thought would be coming up. I'm also okay with if I'm not like resonating with something to do something else. Because the whole point of this was to like do more that I'm excited to do because before I was just like overwhelmed and thinking I should do something and then not doing anything. So basically this is just to help me get into action. So if I like pull something and I'm like, eh, then, and I do something else that is just as good in my mind, but let's see, I love the idea of visioning. Like, what do I really, why am I doing all these things? What do I really want? Ah, uh, I love that. Uh, well, I'm watching a vlog right now, so maybe I will continue watching this and do an intuitive art drawing of my vision for like, let's say the next three months. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, my three month vision and Miranda Sings and Colleen Ballinger. <laughs>
And I just realized maybe why the marketing thing came up. I have a live stream I'm doing tomorrow with Carrie. And, and we're talking about your unlimited year. And I'm getting ready basically to take the coaching program that I created inside my intuitive art certification and make it a standalone thing or at least market it as a standalone thing like market it as the coaching program and not just the intuitive art certification because I think it could really resonate with a lot more people who may not resonate with intuitive art as their main deal but this coaching is my multi-dimensional abundance coaching method and I just think I'm really excited about it. So maybe that's what we'll be talking about tomorrow. Um, and I can put together like a lot of times for live streams, I'll just do like a little outline of things I want to talk about. So that is perfect. So see, 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 I wouldn't have thought to do that. And it's like, I don't even have to think anymore. <laughs> I just let this guide me. Oh my God, this is amazing. Jean, you're a genius. Okay, friends, I figured I'd share this with you because we're doing this together. So if you do a vision for the next three months, share it with me. I love that there's a heart, first of all. It's probably the most used symbol that I get, and it's brown. And that basically, to me, means like I'm grounding love. I'm grounding, I'm making real my feelings, you know? Um, so I'm like creating things about that, like videos or books or content, like it's my feelings turning into some kind of physical manifestation um, or exchange and just, oh, I love living there. So that's cool. And in the background is my unconditional <laughs> love color and joy. This is Baby. She's looking for the food that I put on my desk. <laughs> baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so, here, we'll block it. Um, so, Unconditional Love and Joy is the background. It's like those, like the pale pink and yellow. And that seems to be making like the container, the the background for everything. And oh, this is a very interesting setup that we have here. <laughs> And then the other color in the main part is the purple, which is my spiritual color, which has evolved in its meaning over the decades. And, you know, I don't use that word very often anymore because I feel like I just live that. Like, it's, there isn't really a separation anymore. Um, but I love the shape of it, how it, like, curls in on itself, and it's kind of like a path. So I guess it can help me feel like I'm, I'm on the path that I want to be. I like whatever path feels aligned for me is the right path. Um, okay, this is getting really crazy. Okay. And then the, at last, I noticed this, which I didn't notice at first, and that is my like idea color. It's like a mental color. And what I really love about it is that it seems like the ideas are drawing the rest of it forward. Like the idea is the spark where all of this lives. It's like this is the body of it. And then the idea is like the catalyst or the, the instigator of it. So the ideas are facilitating me living my unconditional love and joy and grounding, grounding who I am and what I um, feel and helping me walk that path that I really love. So I, I like that I have so many ideas. I mean, we created this Oracle deck because I have so many ideas and projects. And so 
I love the validation that like keep going with that, keep having ideas, keep being called forward because that's what's allowing me to live the way I want to live. So that's my vision. I'm going to fully embrace it. And um, this was really cool. It's been two days since I've talked to you. And yesterday I had some time, so I used my cards and what came up was my screenwriting class. Now it doesn't officially start. We don't have our first meeting until the 21st. And so I've been kind of putting it off, but a little anxious about it at the same time. <laughs> and so what did I do? I ignored it. I did something else. And then today I got an email from my teacher with um, over 10 hours of videos uh, to work through. And he said, it'll take two to three weeks. But listen, guys, I didn't even do the first part. This is the second folder of videos. So I am tray behind and I just informed my boyfriend that I will probably be MIA for the next three months because this is going to be pretty intense. So the cards work, dude, the cards work. And, um, I also, I didn't think I was going to be getting a Sundance pass this year. I live near Park City where the Sundance Film Festival takes place and the last two years I've gone and it's incredible but of course this year it's it's not the same right it's not going to be in person there might be a couple screenings but I haven't been doing things in public I just go to my coffee shop with my mask on and get takeout and leave so that's like the extent of my integration into society so I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything in person but they had a great deal on a on a festival pass it was only 350 and for the last few years I've been paying for all of my tickets and spending another 300 on like a pass to get into uh, classes and all that kind of stuff so this is like everything you could possibly want in one pass so I was like all right I'm gonna do it so I went from not thinking I was going to see anything to thinking, wow, I could, I could see every single thing that it shows at this festival, which is really cool. And that made me think, how the hell am I going to have time for any of that? Because I have a full-time job, multiple companies and such, and I have the screenwriting class, which in itself is a job and just so much other stuff going on. It's ski season. I have like one to two days a week blocked off entirely for skiing. But you know what I'm feeling? I'm not feeling overwhelmed anymore. I'm not feeling dread anymore. I'm feeling excitement. I remind myself constantly that I like to be full. I like a full life. Fulfilled is full. Full and filled. Fulfilled. And it's like sometimes I just have to get over that initial overwhelm hump because usually it happens when I've stopped, I've taken a break, I've, I've needed to rest, and then I think, oh my God, but I have so many things I want to do. That little transition point is normally where I get a little messed up, but once I get in the swing of things again, and honestly, these cards have helped so much because they, they let me not think about my next move. They let me just do it, um, even if I don't do what it says. Um, and I, it's just been great. So now I'm fulfilled again. My life is like packed to the max. And now I get to experience time expansion and more synchronicity and, and everything because I feel good. I feel rubbed up. I feel excited, um, stimulated, like content. I feel so many amazing things because I let myself build my speed back up, my speed of life. I like a fast life. I like to pack things in. And if you asked me a week ago um, if I wanted more on my plate, I definitely would have said no. But since I let myself progress back up slowly at my own pace with help, um, it's really paid off. So I think I'm going to end this here. This has absolutely been an exciting journey. I'm really, really happy with, um, with how I've been gentle on myself with this transition from a little bit of burnout. I was, I had a little bit of burnout a couple months ago. No, it wasn't even a couple months. It was one month ago. One month ago I had, I was like, all right, I've been doing a lot. I need some rest. I took 
all the rest I needed, um, which was a lot and was great, very rejuvenating. And now I'm back to um, another state of where I love to be. So you can play with how fast or slow your life is depending on what it is that you need in the moment, what you want in the moment. And I think knowing that, knowing that things can be variable and that's how you're meant to be, like it's cyclical, we live in seasons, um, really can help you be gentle with yourself if you're experiencing any of these things, stress, burnout, overwhelm. Just know like, okay, maybe I'm going into a different cycle now. And make some cards of all your things and that can help too. Well, thank you to Jean Berry for this idea and this inspiration. It's really been amazing. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.